Hello there! This month, May, is Asian Pacific Heritage Month. This month, the videos we are going to be making are going to be based on Asian culture. So, for this video, we are going to take a closer look at the four gentlemen and learn how to draw one. Let us first look at the four gentlemen. They have been around for centuries among Asia, mostly in Chinese, Korean, and Japanese art. They are not human, as you may think, but they are plants whose traits represent good human aspects, like uprightness, purity, humility, perseverance against harsh conditions, among other cherished traits in Chinese tradition. They also represent all four seasons, plum blossom for winter, orchid for spring, bamboo for summer, and chrysanthemum for fall. Out of all the four gentlemen, we are going to be learning about and learning to draw bamboo. Bamboo represents open-mindedness due to its hollowness, and integrity and grit due to its tendency to bend and not break. Now, let's take a break from art and symbolism and go to its anatomy in a nutshell. The culm is the stem of the bamboo, a rhizome is a root culm, the node is the bamboo's joints, the internode is what is between them, the sheath is the papery protective shell that comes off, and the branches are the branches. My mom is using a traditional method using an inkstone and ink stick. The ink stick drags soot into the water, blackening and turning it into ink. For drawing the bamboo, first, take your calligraphy brush and press the tip down and draw a line gradually letting go and pressing down near the end. Then add a space and do a couple more to shape the comb and the internodes as well as the nodes. Have one leaning to the side to make it more natural. Then add a couple of branches by adding smaller lines and finish off the nodes on the main bamboo stalk like so. The bamboo now needs leaves, but the leaves are a bit harder to draw than it seems. So, let's practice drawing leaves for the bamboo. You press the tip down and draw a short line, letting go near the end. Each set of leaves should be sets of two to three. Now draw the leaves. Do a couple on top of the bamboo and a couple sprouting at the nodes. Try adding smaller ones at the tips of the branches. Add as many as you want, but try not to add too much, as it will make the drawing a bit cluttered. Same for the branches. Now, for the other method. Draw a line, but staggered. So there is a larger area for a node, but make it all solid instead of broken up for the stalk or comb of bamboo. Draw a couple of them, leaning and bending, then add leaves and branches staggered like the comb, and draw leaves just like before. Now I know a lot of you don't have a calligraphy brush, and ink stones and sticks, so just use a brush pen but use the same technique as the first, as it looks better, but with the brush pen, it is more controlled, so it's easier. And if you don't have a brush pen, you can use a Sharpie marker or a pen to do this one. Just draw squares and rectangles for the inner nodes in the comb, leading a space just like before, because it looks better, and is even more controlled. Add a few, then add branches made out of many rectangles and squares and color the bamboo if, and if you want like so. Now, because it is Asian Pacific Heritage Month, I am going to teach you how to say and write thank you in Chinese, Korean, or Japanese. If you want to say it, or make a thank you card. For Chinese, thank you is xie xie. Write it down like so. For Japanese, thank you is arigato. Write it down like so. For Korean, thank you is gomawayo. Write it down like so. Sheshe, arigato, gomawayo. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and have a great Asian Pacific Heritage Month.